What's up everybody, T here. I just wanted to give a short intro to this video. Um, so you're about to see my first impression gameplay of the Anacrusis gameplay preview. Um, the vid starts off pretty choppy as far as video quality goes, but gets better later on, kind of, uh, which is was weird. That's due in part to my recording setup, but I was also losing frames pretty heavily in the actual game, which I thought was surprising as I can run more demanding games um, just fine on higher settings. Uh, also, if you don't feel like watching the whole thing, my short review here is that this game tries to do the four-player co-op horde shooting genre style and fails. Uh, you'd honestly be better off playing Left 4 Dead, Back 4 Blood, World War Z, or even the Aliens Fireteam Elite game for now, at least until this end game comes out and we can kind of see the finished product um, because this is a game preview. Um, so it's a work in progress. But I hope the devs can pull it together in time for the proper release because it could be pretty cool. It's got a unique setting, like a 70s. Mm, maybe not super unique in the game, but on paper, it's like a 70s space shooter type of deal. So, yeah, that's all I got for now, and enjoy the video. What is up, everybody? T here, uh, coming to you with a new Let's Play video. Uh, today we are playing the Anacrusis, uh, which I have actually, it's been on my radar for a minute. Um, and basically how the game, to compa game company describes it, uh, they describe it as a four-player cooperative first-person shooter set aboard a massive starship stranded at the edge of explored space. Team up with your friends in an infinitely replayable fight against alien hordes to unlock perks, weapons, and new ways to play that you can share with your team. So... Pretty much, if you're familiar with like the Left 4 Dead style, Back 4 Blood, four people going up against hordes of enemies, uh, this kind of is exactly that. I haven't stayed too much up to date as far as previews go, um, and actually this pre this is a game preview, so it's not the finished game. This dropped on the Game Pass today, I think, either today or yesterday. So let's just go ahead and, and try it out. We'll go with episode one. Goof. We called oh. them creepers at first, and then... Yeah, once they start shooting goo at you. Uh, but gooer, really. Mm, gooper? Ugh, that's still bad, but it's better. All right. So it's like a retro vibe. Kind of a light. Nothing too serious. Lighthearted vibe, apparently. What do we got here? Blaster, kind of like, feels like a shotgun type of thing. Plasma rifle. SMB, kind of like your lighter gun, so... Go plasma rifle here. Charge your weapon. Oh yeah, and you get a pistol. Excuse me! Okay, so this feels like a, a safe room type of thing. So I'm... Health scanner, pick that up. Is there a ping button? Can I ping my teammates? Alright. A crouch. Let me just toggle these options real quick. Switch to high, so it's a little. See if this smooths out, out smooths out something. a little bit. Is there friendly fire? Maybe. Hmm. This is real choppy. Y'all have like Star Trek type suits on too. Okay. Is that, is that me getting shot? What's this do? Matter compiler. Um, interesting. With ammo. Let's 
Okay. It feels um a little clunky, and I don't know if that's I mean I should be able to run this game on high. Oh, you know what? I thought it would have. Let's try that. Okay. Feels better. Oh. Oh, okay, shift to some kind of like shield. This guy's deal. The audio, the screaming doesn't um, like match the location, if that makes sense. Like I, I'm hearing them yell in my headphones, but to me it doesn't feel like, oh, there's someone yelling at me to the left of me. It feels more like, oh, there's somebody in the middle of my head uh, just kind of yelling. Go, and am go, I... Go. Oh. Okay, we got glue. Up there. Uh, okay. Are these supposed to be stairs? Is this supposed to look good? I mean, I know it's a game preview, so this probably isn't final product here. The guns feel all right. I'm not too sure. Oh, got a marker there. I keep trying to sprint, popping my shield. Wait, was it? Does this do anything? Nothing? I'm confused. And now there's another. Okay. So now I'm here. I'm, I don't know if I'm missing something. Carry, nope, that's not a mission. Okay, now that one's gone. Now we have a horde attacking. And as soon as this horde started, um, everything got real choppy. But like, the graphics of this game and everything, I should be able to run it just fine on high. Brute. I don't know if I'm doesn't seem like I'm doing damage to him. This way. There's a brute. Help me, I'm down. That kind of sounded like that one radiohead song. Um Does Brute one hit? One hit knockdown yet? Oh my gosh. There's a brute. Oh, yeah, and even down. when <laughs> even when like the people on my team brute. talk, it doesn't really sound like it's coming from a direction. Got it. Okay, we did kill him. Interesting. Didn't seem like we were like hitting him in the right spot. This might be a weird thing to say. The enemies feel kind of floaty. And I don't know if that's just the way the game's running or like the way they spawn or, but it doesn't, they don't, just don't feel like there's much weight to them. And when you shoot them, they kind of just plop, <laughs> plop, I guess is the word. What's in here? Through security. Weapon charge. Alright, I'm gonna just 
tweak the video options again. See if I can't get this running smooth here. What? Like, yeah, like, where did that guy come from? Ow! Rude. Down this way. Oh, okay. Grab her. Help me. Grab her. What the heck? What's he doing? Got it. That's weird. Cool they put Doc Ock in the game though. I'm healing, I'm healing. I think for a game that's like, you know, a four person co-op horde shooter, it just feels a little s slow paced. And I'm probably being a little nitpicky because I'm healing. I'm like 10 minutes into my first ever playthrough, but I mean, I've played enough of these. Like I played Alien, the Alien one that came out, I played Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, Back for Blood and like cover me. I'm healing. Just feels a little off. Press H to respawn teammates. Brute. L scanner. Brute. There's a brute. Oh. Well, I screwed that up. Am I lands? There's a brute. What's this? SMB. I also wonder if there's more guns than um Down. just what they give you at the start. Oh bogus. Thought I'd be stuck behind the stairs there. Uh dead yet. Okay, you got turrets too. Come on, up on your feet. Grab a grenade. I'm not really sure where. Up the rail. Do they not react to like the sound? Are these aliens all deaf? Oh. Attacking me? That did not sound like it was right next to me. Dad. So I don't know if that sound means there is a horde coming. I mean, it makes sense. Possible grenades. up here comes my cat Rigby to jump on my keyboard hey buddy what's this still just the blaster so yeah I still don't haven't seen any other guns other than um, what they have at the start which I mean it's a little concerning because like part of the fun of these types of games is just finding guns as you go Let's get to that elevator. Okay, so here's like the safe room. Do the old uh, health pack. Hang on, gonna run a scan. Flasher. 
What the fuck? Get the flash! Uh oh. Down. Can I respawn them in here? No. Alright. Is my team dead yet? I'm back. I got it this time. Oh, you can shoot through. Okay. I'll go help him up. here oh this medical station just heals you it doesn't have health packs Why would you bring me back to this Lances out there hmm that's kind of annoying so if he was down yeah I would expect the three people who aren't down get in the safe room and you win the level. But I guess not. We're going at a pretty good clip. I think we're gonna be okay. The elevator should be careful now. So you do, you can do friendly fire. I'm gonna switch it up. Let's try maybe this gun, the shotgun type. See how this goes for us. Lift is blocked. Let's see if we can go up a level. We can head through the crew quarters. Yeah, goo. I feel like the, this game is kind of stuck between like wanting to be cartoony and then wanting to be uh, not cartoony. Like I feel like if it leans into its cartooniness a little bit more, this would be more fun. Because that would be kind of like a unique thing it would bring to the whole genre. But as it is, it just kind of feels like kind of like a goofy cartoony version of Left 4 Dead that's not quite fleshed out. Like, I don't know, maybe add like goofy power-ups, which maybe they do. Maybe they come in later. Like, goofy weapons, make the characters goofy, because you have this like 70s 70s? Retro style, you know. Search the rooms. We can use more gear. Oh, come on, Rigby. It's also like we don't want to set those things off. Not a ton of strategy as far as like avoiding no. hordes or oh, I'm about Got to it. probably get killed here. What is that? 
thing. Watch over me, please. I'm healing. Shotgun doesn't really feel very, very weighty. Damn, these are some nice quarters. I guess it just really feels like, you know, it's just not quite finished. Maybe and like the I mean, might just be the level. Watch the gap, but the set design is kind of that a shiner. That design is kind of like nothing right home about. What is this? Is there a melee button? No, just slow. And also, okay, I. Oh, I don't know what they're doing. Cover it doesn't me. seem like. Oh wait. I was about to say it doesn't seem like these enemies are uh, affected by sound too much, but looks like that guy was. Hmm. So the perspective I would kind of be interested in of someone playing this, this game would be like the person who the hasn't really played here. Left 4 Dead, hasn't really played Left 4 Blood. I like this would be their first game in the kind of four person horror shooting genre. I think that would be, I would be pretty interested to see what that person has to say about this game. Cause as it stands, I mean, Not a whole lot. I'm good. I'm good. Second grenade here. Help! Got it. There's a well, I was ungooing myself. Oh, Nessa's still running around. Whoa. I don't see it. Am I supposed to be able to see it? The door's open. Let's go. I don't really understand what that flash was about. Can I shield while I'm down? I can't. Oh! Help me up! Not dead yet. Oh, there you go. We finally spawned in at the finale. All right. So where's this door? There it is. Let's get you fixed up. We need you. Okay, so now I'm playing I'm with all bots. So we'll see how this goes.
Uh -oh. This isn't the only elevator. Let's keep moving. Okay. Well, that's on me. I'm waiting. I'm gonna scan myself. He's healing himself. All right, so that was interesting. Sometimes in these games, we'll if it's just you and the bots and you die, it's game over. But uh, they let you just kind of watch the bots roll around. Oh, and you don't spawn back with the gun. That's this interesting. Um, which way? I'm assuming this way. Is that right? Okay. Let's see. So I'm the only non-bot character. On, get in here. Okay. I was going to say, if they're not all in, it should let me win the level. I'm not sure what we should do. Shouldn't we just stick with the plan? What is the plan anymore? Every way is blocked or broken. I don't know. Let's just keep heading up. What else are we going to do? You're right. Let's head up. Lift to the park should be right out this hall, but let's just stick together and get on that elevator. That simple. Of course, the lift is locked down. <sighs> Looks like we gotta head up to the 11th floor on foot. Watch out for Flasher! I don't understand this Flasher. Like, what am I supposed to? Be shooting at. Floors. Like I just can't see it. I don't. I don't get it. We have to head through the pit. It's gonna. Can I just walk through the level? Like, doesn't really seem like I'm being attacked too hard. Yeah, the, the, the yelling just doesn't sound good. It's like clipped audio that they try to make sound loud, I guess, but it just kind of sounds like it was recorded uh, in someone's basement or something for, for cheap. Can I open this? This isn't okay. Um, guess I'll keep walking. Fifth floor, six more. All right, so we have a horde, and now I can't get through this door. Oh, hi, Rigby. Can't I open that? Let's see. Let's get you up. Let's go up. So you do slow down. Your walking speed does slow down when you get to low health. Uh, but 
yeah, still haven't found another gun. Here's an auto turret. But there's like, so you have like the machine gun, the shotgun, and the SMG type gun. So I wonder, you know, are there gonna be snipers in here? Thank you. Um, Do this. I mean, you have a pistol, but some grenades and stuff. Here comes another horde. Once we activate the lift, the aliens will know where we are. So get ready. Oh. Get ready. Look who's back. How do I use the auto turret? Let's try that. Fruit. Oh. Oh, um, I guess that's on me. That's behind you. We'll be okay. Let's just cut through the storeroom to the mall, and we can. So maybe I'm just being a hater, but um, I don't really enjoy playing this. I mean, it's like a first impression, so maybe it gets better. But from what I'm playing now. It's this isn't something that I'm excited to play more of. And even just playing this by myself, this isn't something where I'm like, oh, it would just be better if I had a couple buddies in here. Because um, I just kind of, that last level, I was just kind of walking through. I wasn't even really shooting people. Let's just stick together and get on that elevator. There's not a whole ton of, like, gun differences. There's no real end game stats at the end of the level. So there's not, like, Security that kind of on the 11th floor? competition. Really? And stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, you have aliens just kind of crouched on the ground. Aliens not reacting to sound of your guns. Blah blah blah. Just stuff. Uh, the game's not finished, and that's apparent. So, um, yeah, I'm probably just gonna call it here. And again, this is just my first impression of the preview, not the finished game. Um, but all in all, if it's on, it's on Game Pass, you can try it. I guess, but I this isn't even really one I would recommend. I'd recommend just waiting for the actual game to come out. And uh, hopefully by then, it's a little more polished and put together. But yeah, it's going to do it for me. Alright, bye everybody.